All right. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, much later than usual, but I hope you're all doing okay, and I'm feeling fine myself. So yeah, Halo Infinite just released its multiplayer beta, so I'm going to check it out. I briefly tested it, like, the other day. Like, it came out a couple of days ago, so it's alright. I'm not really a big Halo aficionado, so I'm going to suck at it a lot, but we'll check it out. Just because, you know, it's the new thing. And maybe I'll have a good time, but I probably won't. <laughs> no, I, I, I probably will suck at this. Let me turn this up a little bit. Oh, hang on a second. Before we continue, did I fix my audio settings? Okay, there we go. Are you planning out on trying Multiverse once it comes out? Uh, yeah, apparently they revealed it today. I haven't watched it yet. But, um... When's it coming out? Is it next year? Like, I I heard about the leaks, like, a month or so ago, but apparently it got officially announced earlier tonight, but I haven't seen the trailer for it yet. So yeah, campaign's not available. That comes out in a couple weeks, I think. December 8th or December 9th. I forgot which one it is, but it's like the first couple weeks of December. And I might check out the campaign, maybe I'll enjoy that more than the multiplayer, but yeah, the multiplayer came out. And you can see I've, I've briefly played it a little bit, you can see my my uh, progress bar up there on the top right. And yes, this game has a, not only does it have a battle pass, but it's got a premium battle pass, so you can, you know, get better things with microtransactions, hooray for that I guess. Right, so quick play, standard Halo Infinite settings, uh, big team battle. Let's let's start with quick play first. One thing that's a little bit annoying with quick play is that sometimes it doesn't pick the game mode you want. Like I I prefer you know like team deathmatch or free for all, but this tends to pick like lesser. Game, not, not lesser game modes, but just game modes that I'm not accustomed to, like Capture the Flag or like whatever the one where you're holding onto a ball is called, or like, you know, capturing spots and whatnot, King of the Hill or something. So there's a good chance we're going to get one of those and we're not going to get the actual, you know, shooty shooty bang bang game modes. I mean, you can still shoot people, but that's not the entire objective. Also, is it just me, or does the game, uh, the, the, the colour look a bit washed out? Let me see if I can fix that real quick before this starts. Fuck. I wanted to... I think this might work a bit better. So I was going to see what the colour of uh, my Master Chief skin looked like there, just to compare it to my monitor, because for some reason on the preview of OBS it looks a bit more washed out. I'll see it here when it shows you... Yeah, I think it looks a bit better now. Yeah, it looks a bit better. Maybe it's just my other monitor being shit, I don't know. I need, I need to buy some new monitors. I think it's about time I get some. What game mode are we doing? I wasn't paying attention there. Ah, it's just Team Deathmatch. Perfect. Good job. We somehow managed to get a kill there. <laughs> Got punched, I think. Yeah, you can do a melee punch. You might have seen me like accidentally do that because sometimes I do that. So yeah, don't expect like a pro competitive player playing this. I'm just very casual when it comes to shit like this. Damn it! I'm also using default aiming settings. I'm not sure if that's going to help or hinder. So, let me tell you my history with Halo, it's very short. Um, 
I didn't grow up with an Xbox, I grew up with the GameCube. And I remember back at the time, in fact, well, I'll, I'll talk about this in a minute, but let me tell you about my history with Halo. Um, I never played Halo when it first came out, I know it was a big deal back then. I was into GameCube and, you know, Nintendo, being a Nintendo fanboy and whatnot. Oh. Nice! Not doing terrible. I'll take that grenade, thank you. So, my history starts with the Master Chief Collection, and even then, I haven't even played much of the Master Chief Collection. I played Halo 1's campaign all the way through, and I played a, a good chunk of Halo 2's campaign, but I didn't finish it. That's my entire history with the Halo franchise. I've never played Halo 3, I've never played uh, Reach, I've never played ODST, any of the good stuff. I mean, the first two Halo games are also good, but apparently the later games have much better multiplayer. Yeah, get fucked. See, game modes like this, I may be better at. Like, anything that's like, you know, objective based, that's not just kill the person. That's where you'll see me be bad at it. Like, because I played this a little bit a couple of days ago, and most of the time I was getting basically anything but team deathmatch. Nothing I could have done about that. I'm doing alright so far. I mean, my KD is above 1.0. Wait, did it tell you the KD? No, it doesn't. Ah, fuck. Shite. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this for. This might be a short session of this. Because afterward, I'll be streaming till very late tonight, just because I kind of feel like it. But yeah, um, the next thing I'll be doing after this is Retro Roulette, which I've not done in almost a year actually, so that's going to be fun. If you don't know what Retro Roulette is, it's me playing like a bunch of random NES games for like anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. Maybe I'll find some good stuff in there. It also includes like a bunch of weird like wild card games like bootlegs and weird like, I don't know, just... just garbage bootleg stuff as well is thrown in there, so pretty much anything goes. Fuck. Yeah. I was trying to get that other guy and that didn't exactly pan out. Damn it, damn it! Never minds. Okay, now my KD is less than one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, kill death ratio. I've got six kills and seven deaths, so my kill to death ratio would be below 1.0. It's something to do in like old Call of Duty games. Like I used to play Call of Duty a lot, like Modern Warfare. Yep. Oh yeah, you can slide dash, I forgot about that. <laughs> I got one. Unfortunately, the other guy got me. So, I couldn't tell you, like, I've, I've played Halo 1, i played Halo 2, oh. I did not know that was... Did I, did I lose a kill for the team because of that? I wasn't paying attention to the number. I didn't realise that was the edge of the map. I, I thought I could like drop down there for something. Well, now I know. And as we all know, knowing is only half the battle. G.I. Joe. And all that fun stuff. Bah! I saw him fucking socking me as well there with his fist. Sticky grenade is handy. Uh, I don't have any sticky grenades, I've just got standard grenades. I don't know if you have to, like, find stickies, or... Oh! 
at least someone got him, but I still feel salty about that one. Like, I pretty much had that. The guy had a really good weapon, but the thing is, that weapon is more like a sniper rifle, so not good at close range. I was trying to run to, like I ran out of bullets, I tried to run toward him and punch him to finish him off. Missed. Because of course I would. Oh. Someone over here. Yeah, get fucked. Bop bop, fat fingers. I'm playing this on the Xbox Series X, by the way. I don't know how much, how well this game would run on a VCR Xbox One, because apparently you can play this on there. I still have mines, so it's just not plugged in anymore because I now have a Series X. There's not really any need for me to be using that anymore. Nice! We're not that far behind, but I think we're gonna lose. Like, we're 5 kills behind and I think it's 50 kills to win. I don't think I've won a single team-based match in this game so far. Not that I've played it for that long, but you know. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna lose this one. Oh, fuck. Did I kill? I, I guess I didn't. So Sometimes you can kill them at the same time as you. That was something I also noticed. Like there was one time where both of us meleeed each other at the exact same time. I was hoping someone was up there. Trying to play smart. How much you want to bet that I'm going to be the last person the other team kills? Oh, never mind. Right, well, there you go. I mean, we weren't that far behind, but wasn't good enough. I should look at my challenges to see what challenges I've got on the battle pass. Yes, there is a battle pass in this game. Oh, I managed to complete some challenges just by playing that. Nice. God, I'm not even at level 1 yet. The battle pass goes up to level 100. So, unlike Fortnite, I think I'm going to be here for a while. Like, if I intend to get everything. One thing that's cool about the battle pass, though, is that it's... You can retroactively unlock stuff. Basically, what that means is, say you start playing the game at Season 3... You can go back to Seasons 2 and Season 1 and still work on those if you want. So that's really cool. So it's not like I'm pressured to like get everything done within a time limit. I can still get all the Season 1 content if I keep playing enough. There's my stats. 42% accuracy. 12 kills, 13 deaths. KD is slightly below 1. But you know what? That's better than I was expecting. I was expecting my KD to be like 0 0.3 or something. Like, I die three times for every time I kill one person. I was the second highest contributing player in the in our team, which is cool. Not bad for my first try, yeah. I feel it's gonna get worse from here, to be honest. Play any match, 0 out of 1. Back smack attack. Kill an enemy Spartan from behind with a... Like, I can't read the rest of that. I'm guessing it means a melee. Kill enemy Spartan with an assault rifle. I don't know where to find assault rifles. Is this looking for a match? Oh, right. Sorry, I thought it was looking for a match there. You know what's the best feeling? When you wake up from a sleep or nap, and you've got sand in your eye, and you're like, oh, I'm going to use my finger to, to get that out. And then that bit of sand gets trapped in your eye, and it's like, Egh! 
it just it just fucking doesn't come out. That that's a great feeling. Right, I think I got it. It'll eventually come out. Ugh. Right, I think I got it. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm not long awake from my... What felt like a fucking eternal slumber, but it was just a four-hour nap. I had a really fucking weird dream as well. I had, I had this dream... I'm not I'm not exactly sure what went down, so I'm gonna to try to describe it to the best of my ability. Basically it was like how did it start again? Like I, I know what the majority of the dream was, it was just how we got to the the main part of it that was weird. Or like how we got to the main part of it that I'm not sure about. The main part is the weird part. But yeah, it was some, I think it was like some sort of misunderstanding where we ordered something online through a, a seemingly, I, I'm guessing through a shady website due to the, the result that we got from it. And what we got delivered was the dead, was the recently dead body of George W. Bush Jr. Like, I'm not even fucking kidding. But then I think it turned into like a Family Guy episode where it's like Brian and Stewie were like trying to hide the body. They were like trying to find a place to get rid of it. Which is <laughs> fucking weird. See, when I dream, I don't normally really dream anything vivid, if at all. I tend to just not remember anything that I dream about. So I must have fucking eaten something really weird that made me dream something like that. Because it's like, yeah, that's not normal for me. So this game mode, we've got to grab the ball. Damn it. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get the ball there because it was like three other Spartans. But yeah, you pick up the ball and I think you're defenseless when you're holding it. So the idea is your teammates protect you. And the longer you hold it, the more points you score and contribute. Nice. Fucker. Can I get up there? Oh, you can? Okay. I'm not sure how they feel about this voiceover that's happening right now. It sounds a little bit too... I, I don't know how they put it, but it sounds weird. Damn it. I think I, think I know what happened there, like he held me moving. Wow, they, they, they are just holding on to that fucking ball. Right, well I guess this is going to be another loss for me. Yeah, let's, let's, let's play a game tonight, everyone. Like, let's play a game of how many times can I actually win when I stream this. Couldn't even get that kill! I mean, that's not really going to do much for me, is it? Oh. Oh, they dropped the ball at the last moment. Nah. Didn't think so. Worse. 
Nice. Get fucked. Them. Of course, after all that, they still get the fucking ball. Yeah, we're gonna lose this, aren't we? Um, this is probably my least favorite game mode of the ones that I played. I don't, I don't know if I can change this voice. I hate it. Oh my god. I think that guy just got yeeted by a grenade. Oh. That's, that was bad. Alright, we got the leads. Nice. Just need to get to where my teammates are so that I can defend them. Fuck. Bastards. I need some backup. Where the fuck are you guys? There you are. Oh my god. Flanked. Brilliant. Well, at least it's not a complete one-sided victory if the enemy team gets this win. Enemy has the ball. But yeah, they've got the ball back. What a fucking shock. Can I be put on a team that knows how to carry for once? <sighs> Are you kidding me? I, I stopped shooting because I thought that guy had it. Nope, not letting you get away. No. Nope. Time to eat shit. Unbelievable. Red pool. Not to be confused with Deadpool, I guess. Try this gun. Where are you? Ball drop. Oh, that was a good shot. Damn. Maybe I'll get back into the Halo franchise, but it, again, I'm not a, exactly a Halo aficionado over here, so if you're expecting me to be, you know, King of Halo or anywhere near that, you're in the wrong place. Damn. At least I got the kill assist there. I feel I contributed. We might actually pull this back, we might get the second round and then it'll be coming down to round three. Oh, they've got the ball though. I'm gonna have to help make that not be the case. Oh, where's the ball? There is. I can't. I can't run or use my weapons. I can still mount edges though. <laughs> nope. I can't. I can't believe I was the one that actually pushed us to victory for that round. Yeet. Right, round three. Ball incoming. Ball. 
<laughs> That's what I get for trying to grab it when there's a lot of people there. Pick it up for like a fraction of a second and I get punched in the face. So yeah, I don't know, like I heard that Halo 4 was not that good because Halo 4 was the first game that was not being handled by Bungie, the original developers of like the Halo trilogy. And then Halo 5 was somehow even worse, like Halo 5 became very much, like from what I understand, Halo 5 became more Call of Duty-ish and less Halo-ish. And the story mode was like really bad for some reason, like it was very generic, very bland. That stuff I know just because of osmosis, but it's not really something that I could tell you from experience because I've never played them. But yeah, that after like Bungie stopped making Halo games, the next fuck you, the next studio that w started working on them was Three Four Three Studios. This is a very big gun. What did, what kind of gun is this? Oh my god. Alright, that's not a bad weapon. It's a shame I lost it, but I got a couple kills with it. Fucking Splatoon gun. But instead of covering people in ink, you're covering them in blood. Either that or that was their blood coming out of their bodies, I couldn't tell. Lost the lead! Lost the lead. Coming to get ya! Where is the ball? Oh, you got the ball. Nice. Nice. Stay there. Oh my god. <laughs> Double kill. I'm in my element now. Fuck you. Oh damn. I, th I thought that would have finished them. 343 three, Mickey. I don't know if that's an actual member of the development team or if somebody just put 343 three in front of their name. That was a good little streak ahead going there. I was do I was definitely contributing. Like I wasn't holding the ball, but I was contributing and defending the player holding it. Hey there, Moo. I, I know it's Halo tradition, but I kind of hate that low HP beeping. But I guess that's the idea. It's like once you run out of shield, you're like extremely vulnerable. I mean, it's not the worst health, low health beeping I've ever heard in a video game, and you only hear it for like a moment. But get ready to hear that a lot. The sound effect I actually like a lot is when the shield is recharging. It just goes whoop. It's a really satisfying sound effect. We have them all. Grapple, shot Grapple shot? Oh shit! I've heard about this. Oh my god. I can only use that a couple more times though. Victory. Ah, let me, let me just use the grapple shot. There we go. <laughs> You could only use the grapple hook like three times, but yeah, that that was that was actually not a bad match. We somehow pulled that around. There you go, some more challenges complete. I'm almost at level one. One whole level. How was uh, how was your stream, by the way, Moo? Sorry, I couldn't attend it. I w I went for like a long nap. Oh yeah, my KD is above one point zero. This game doesn't show you the kill death ratio, but if my kill is above my death, then that's good, at least in my eyes. Because in my experience, it's usually less than that. 
Right, let's go for another match. I'm not sure what game mode we'll get this time. I'm doing quick play right now, but you can also do like the big team battles, which is like 12 versus 12, and it's got like a bunch of vehicles in there as well. So I might try some of that after I've done a couple more quick plays. Yeah, Pokemon Generation 4 is coming tomorrow. Technically, it's already out in the UK if you bought it digitally, but I'm getting mines physically tomorrow. If I bought mines digitally, I would be streaming it tonight, I guess. Beaten Metroid Zero Mission and had a whack at SRB2K's split mode. Nice. I, I'm a little bit sad that I missed your finale of Metroid Zero Mission. What did you th what did you think of the extra part of the game after Mother Brain? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, uh, Pokemon. <laughs> this is funny, actually. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will have a day one patch tomorrow, and it's going to add. It's going to add. Uh, what would you call it? They're gonna add like the FMV for the intro of the game as well as the credits FMV. Which is funny because that's not on the cartridge for some reason so you have to like download the update if you want to get that shit. Like if you boot up the cartridge without updating it, you won't even see like a Pokemon intro which you know that's kind of like a tradition at this point. Like every Pokemon game starts with one of, it, one of them but this one doesn't have it on the cartridge. Kind of fucking weird. Zero Suit Samus section was a bit on and off, but once I got my shit back, it was all peachy. I kind of feel like the Zero Suit Samus thing was like experimenting with the whole SAX thing that Metroid Fusion introduced. Like they were toying with the idea, and then that eventually they were like, you know what, we could, we could make a whole game around the idea of like making a Metroid game that has a bunch of stealth elements. Let's make Metroid Dread, and then that game got cancelled, and then it came back twenty years later, and it's good. Oh, so this just looks like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty now, this map. Oh, fuck. What game mode am I doing? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Slayer, 50 kills to win. Alright. It really do look like so uh, Call of Duty. I've heard the new Call of Duty is shit. Or, well, I mean, not not really, but it's, it's more so that nobody gives a shit about it, which I can understand. Like, it seems very generic this time around. It's like, oh, it's World War II again. Okay. World War II Call of Duty for the 50 millionth time. What a, jo what a joy. I was not expecting that. Got ya. What were you holding? Oh. Bastard. I don't even know what I just picked up there, I just used it, in case it would help me. Clearly it didn't. Let me see if I can find an assault rifle, because... Wait, is this the assault rifle? I don't think it is. Because I think I need to get a kill with an assault rifle. Does anybody have a link to the multiverse, the, what's it called, multiverses? Does anyone have a link to the trailer for that? Because I want to watch that, I might actually watch it on the stream. Power items have arrived. Apparently it looks good, but I haven't seen it yet. I also heard that it's coming to PC first, it's not coming to consoles at the same time. It might eventually come to consoles, but right now it's PC on Steam. Thankfully, it's not fucking Epic Game Store exclusive, thank God. Whenever I see them charge at me, I need to remember to punch before they punch me. We'll try this gun. 
this gun only has eight rounds in it before you have to reload, so it's semi-automatic. Oh. Wow, that's a, that packs a powerful punch. I like it. Oh. I need to recharge my shields. There we go. Where is everyone? The hell? Oh, okay then. As per Halo tradition. Alright, moving on. God, has anyone seen that episode of The Simpsons where they just reference teabagging in Halo? I forgot what fucking season that was. I think it was like somewhere between season 20 and 25. AKA the really shit episodes of The Simpsons, like anything past season 20. Like, with exception to like some out outliers, like season 20 onward Simpsons is just terrible. Kind of ironic, the quality of the show goes up because of HD episodes, because season 20 is like the first high definition uh, season. So, there's a bit of irony in which the quality of the visuals go up. But the quality of the show itself, in terms of writing and characters and whatnot, go way down. Whoop. Nice noise. Will that hurt anyone? Damn it. I don't know if that... If that if... <laughs> yeah, that person's doing it as well. Was that the person that I killed earlier? Because they seemed very adamant about, like, teabagging me. It's funny because I haven't really seen anybody teabag me, but I do it to someone and then they do it to me. <laughs> I mean, eye for an eye, I guess. Oh. Damn it, I, my grenade didn't land next to them. Oh, I don't know what weapon that is. All right, we get it. You teabagged me. <laughs> right, I'll stop doing that now. There was a game that came out recently. I forgot what it was called. Splitgate, I think. I don't know if it has it anymore, but I remember playing the alpha for that like a couple of years ago and they had like an experimental game mode, which I don't know if it's in the full version. Where basically it's like, I don't know if you know the game modes kill confirmed where you have to kill someone and then you have to like grab the dog tag that they dropped to like confirm their kill so you get a point. Basically, it was that, except instead of grabbing a dog tag or something they dropped, you had to like teabag the dead body. To confirm the kill. Damn. For a moment there I pressed the B button thinking that was the melee strike. It's the right it's the right analog stick button. B button is for crouching and sliding. Fuck. Good aiming. And then I'm dead. Yeah, I'm getting my ass handed to me and then some look at the score difference. Thrusters? Thrusters. Oh, that's cool. Can I go upwards? Oh. I have to wait for the cooldown. Shit, that's gonna kill me now. Yep. 
Wow. I, I pretty much had that there. Alright, nothing left to do but just teabag the air in shame. Yeah, I got fucking crushed. Nice variety of colours there though. Oh come on, just 50? Battle rifle. So I need to get a few more kills with that. Yeah, look at the difference this time. 4 kills, 12 deaths. So my KD would have been 0. 0. 0.3, I think. 0. 0.33. Which is not very good. Anything below 1.0 is bad. Uh, I'm going to quickly check settings. Um, can I change that voiceover? Because I, I don't know if I like that voice. Like, it sounds like it's trying too hard to sound modern. You've lost the lead! Also, thank god voice chat is disabled by default. I do not want... I do, I do not want to be playing against, like, ten-year-olds, like, screaming the N-word down my ear holes. Uh, give me a second. I, do, I don't know if you can change the voice over thing. That's what I'm looking for. I may have went past it and not realized. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but I thought I heard that you could, like, change this kind of stuff, but maybe not. Wait, UI narration, is this it? Oh, no. Nah, I don't, I don't exactly... Right, well here's my match history. I've done apparently 16 matches so far. Oh. Wait, why is it only showing the most recent 8? Wait, didn't it just say I had 16? What? Wait a minute. Yeah, 1 of 12 of 16. Page 1 of 2. No results found for page 2. And then I go back to page 1 and it's 1 of 8. What? That, that's weird. Okay then. Oh yeah, here's the item shop. Very much looks like Fortnite. And yes, they've got their own, like, V-Box thing, uh, thing going on here as well, so... If that's your thing, I guess go ahead, but... I, I, I'm not interested in this whatsoever. Sorry for not playing the game, I'm just looking... I was looking for a certain option which might not even be there. Which is a little bit annoying, because it would be nice to change... I, I don't know what other voices they could put in, if any, but... I'm not, I'm not really keen on the voice they've got right now, t truth be told.
you think it would come under audio, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe that's just the only voice they have. Whatever. Right, we'll do one more quick play, and then maybe we'll do some big battles. I won't be playing this for too long, I'm just checking it out, just see what it's like, and then maybe I'll stream this again when the, the full version comes out. I mean, technically this is the full version, it's just in beta. When I say full version, I mean of the multiplayer component. The single player doesn't come out until a couple weeks later. Oh. Can, can I choose a specific game modes? I'd rather just do Slayer, please. Wait. I, I don't know if I can do... Like, I can set up custom things, but I don't know if that will get other people to, like, join me, or if I'm playing with bots at that point. Whatever. So yeah, I'll say this, the multiplayer is not bad. I couldn't tell you what the multiplayer was like for Halo 4 and Halo 5, because apparently those ones were not that good. Like, I think 4 was... I, I, don't, I don't know what was wrong with 4. I think it was sluggish or something, like it didn't feel... It didn't really feel like Halo, and then Halo 5 felt even less like Halo. But apparently this feels like a return to form. This feels like the first true... Barely. Also, I've played on this map before. This is a good one. But yeah, 343, uh, 343 Studios, the guys who made Halo 4 and 5, they've also made this, but apparently this is actually really good now. Seems like they've taken the feedback from 4 and 5 to heart! Oh my god. Did I get killed by my own teammate? That had the blue outline. <laughs> I can't let you do that, Star Fox. Wait. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's, who's speaking? Oh, fucking hell. I, I thought I got rid of him. Oh, right, we're good. Also, why is voice chat on? Can I turn that off? Really don't want to listen to that. Like, I'm, I'm just hearing voices and I don't, I don't like it. Nice shot. Nice shot! Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> it's the fucking bike from Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, 
Nope. Well, it's not really the bike from Shadow the Hedgehog, but it looks equally ridiculous. Just seeing Master Chief just uh, running around with it. Fuck off. What the fuck, man? I shoot the whole fucking magazine and you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Just listening to these people on the line sometimes. I mean, at least it's not 10 year olds, but you know. Fucking hell, what is it now, man? I don't even know what he's saying half the time. Magazine, I hit him and he's just walking away. I'm gonna leave it on for now, just for entertainment value, I guess, because it's funny to me. Yeah, if you cannot kill them, then they take the flag, yeah. It's normal, huh? <laughs> okay. Flag return. Nope. <laughs> Oh, so I need to get into the habit of paying attention to the radar, because there is a radar in this game that shows you where nearby enemies are when they shoot their weapon. Fuck. Camp Two people are camping. Oh, you have, to, you have to stand in front of it to return it. I thought, like, earlier when I was trying to return it, I thought you had to press a button for that. Well, this person can't aim from a distance. There we go. What did you drop? Piece of equipment. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. At least give me a chance to do something, please. Who's speaking? So, sh shot now. Is speaking. I don't have a microphone, do I? No, mine's is turned off. Free load game? This is uh, Warzone all, all over again. Huh? <laughs> Warzone all over again? Like, I'm trying to understand what the fuck he's saying. No intel, no comms, no nothing. Nope. No skills, no nothing. Damn it! Ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I'm. Fuck you and your flag, man. Fucking pussy a lot. So, I was looking what it is. Pick something up and I don't know what it is. Nah. Yeah, fuck you! One minute remaining. Oh, it's gonna go down to sudden death or whatever happens oh, when there's wow, zero points. God damn it. Now you come here and destroy this game. What a reliable Maybe it's just because of my shit aiming, but the time to kill was a bit long because it kind of feels like I barely have enough bullets in my clip to finish them off. Maybe it is just down to my shit aiming. Come on. Ah, put out the magic. Yeah. Over time now. 
Okay, I'm done listening to this person. Hey, come on. Finish the fucking game. Can I turn the shit off? I don't wanna play. Okay, there we go, that's the one. I was just waiting for him to hear and say something so I could make sure that was the one that gets rid of it. They've taken our flag. We have eyes on the enemy flag carrier. No, nope, someone saw me. That's right. Distraction. The other person can take the flag back, hopefully. I don't know if they dropped it. Oh no, they're going after them now. What direction are they coming from? This way? Bastard! Ah, oh! whatever. All that for fucking nothing. Whatever. Wow! I completed one whole level of the battle pass. Go me. I unlocked an epic backdrop, whatever that is, and an epic armor core. Mark 5B. Premium battle. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Premium battle pass required for this one? Okay then. So I only un unlocked this, which doesn't really do much for me. Okay then. Um. What was I going to do? It was go to this one, I think. Yeah, we'll do a big team battle. We'll try a couple matches of this, see where it goes. But yeah, I played Halo 2 fairly recently on my Series X just to see how it would run on here on the Master Chief Collection. And game's fucking hard. Like, the single player, I mean, the campaign is pretty hard. It's like, I get to a room full of, like, enemies and I just die over and over and over again. And it's like, maybe I'll get a little bit better each time and I'll get further and I'll get to the next room. And then it checkpoints and then I, I, the same thing happens, it's just rinse and repeat. Maybe I'm just playing Halo the wrong way, I don't know. So here was the thing I was going to mention earlier that I forgot to uh, wrap, like, loop back around to. I remember when Halo first came out, and I think there used to be this discussion of which was the better game. Was it Halo or was it Metroid Prime? And me being me would say, oh, Metroid Prime, obviously, because... Like I said, I grew up with the GameCube, I played Metroid Prime, that game blew me the fuck away. And still one of my all-time favourite games to this day, to be honest, like, it's that good. But it's kind of comparing apples to oranges, like, the two games, yeah, they're in first person, they're like sci-fi adventure games, but they play very differently from each other. But for me, if I had to live the rest of my life playing just one of those two games, it would be Metroid Prime. Speaking of Metroid Prime, I've been hearing rumours that there's going to be a remake slash remaster of the first game next year. And that's apparently the reason why we haven't got, like, the trilogy on Switch, because that's going to be coming instead. So if that's the case, I, I hope that's the case, because then we can play that. I'd, I'd love to play that next year. Seems like Nintendo's willing to give Metroids more love these days. 
Like, they're not just going to stop at Dread. And we've got Metroid Prime 4 still being in development. Which, that probably won't be coming out anytime soon. But if we get some games between now and then, then yeah, Metroid's got a good few years ahead of it yet. Before Nintendo neglects it for another 20 fucking years and then gives us Federation Force 2. Okay, this seems quite fun, actually. Big battles. Yeah, sure, let's take a vehicle. Let's see if I can run over someone. Or not. Nope. Alright, nice. I don't think I've died yet, actually. I, I check, but then shit like that happens. Yeah, I haven't died yet. The enemy has loaded a power seat. Targets are over there. Grenade Shit. I was hoping I could reach them there. Halo reach them. Well, I got four kills before someone finally killed me, so that's that's not a bad mini streak, I guess. Like for my standards, at least, because I I suck at these kind of games. Like there was a time where I used to play a lot of shooting games. Well, I say a lot of shooting games, but mainly Call of Duty. Like I was never into Call of Duty when it first came out, but when Modern Warfare Call of Duty Four came out, that game was so fucking good. Damn it. And then I picked up Modern Warfare 2, which good game, but not as good. At least for me. I don't I don't know. I think I think the first game has a lot more impact to me than the second one does. Like second one's objectively better, but you know, it's it's, it's sort of something about it doesn't resonate with me like the first one did. And then eventually Black Ops came out, and I, I think that's like my absolute favourite Call of Duty game, like the first Black Ops. I had to, I had to specific, I had to specify that it was the first Black Ops because there's not two, there's not three, there's fucking four of those games. Yes, there's four Black Ops games if you can believe that. I mean, even Modern Warfare didn't get beyond three. I mean, technically there's four Modern Warfare games, but one of them's a reboot. Like, you had Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and then like a year and a half ago we got like a Modern Warfare reboot. <coughs> Modern Warfare reboot? Sorry, dry throat. Let's see if I can hit someone. Let's see if I can hit someone. Nice. Nope. Alright, we're doing good so far. I'm not really playing the objective, I'm just killing people and hoping that that's going to help my teammates, you know, secure victory, which it seems to be working so far. I mean, considering how many more players are playing, it's like 12v12, I think, or it's 6v6. 12v12, so it's 24 players. But yeah, if I focus on just killing other people, I don't necessarily have to play the objective. 
I can just fuck up the other people and just let everyone else do the work that I probably couldn't. Alright. Someone had a sticky grenade. Wish I had one. Oh. What the fuck is this? Just a gigantic mallet? Ground vehicle delivery confirmed. Not gonna get a chance to use it though. I, I didn't really know how to use that. Yeah, you just take that away from me then, thanks. I don't know what that is. Alright. <laughs> shoot in this guy, why not? Relatively easy win that time. And again, I didn't even have to bother going for the objective. Fifty experience. Oh god, it's gonna take forever to get to level one hundred though. Like, Fortnite, you level up much faster than this. Like, it doesn't take, like, ten matches to go up one level. Kill five enemies with the assault rifle. Yeah, I did that. Uh, let's do maybe one more. I'll do one or two more matches. I'll see how I feel after this one, if I want to do one more beyond that. I'm going to see if I can find a link to the... I'm going to see if I can find that multiverses thing. Okay, I found it. It was uploaded 12 hours ago. We could watch this after I'm done with Halo. Like, because I haven't seen it yet. Set that to 720p. My internet might eat shit for a moment because it's like loading a YouTube video in the background. Nah, we're fine. My new internet is quite good at holding up under the potential download stress there. Like, I dropped a couple frames, but not that much. I dropped like 30 frames when I was trying to load that YouTube video. If I was doing that on my 4G router, it would drop like a million frames and it would just take a million years to like recover from that. Almost all green. Right, I'll, I'll go on this side then. See, this kind of shit is cool. I guess this is what made Halo Halo. Like, having vehicular... And not vehicular combat, but just having, like, vehicles that you could fuck around with. Alright, let's go. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah! Oh, I can't go up that way. Nice. I think you got him. I'm just gonna go around here. Damn it. 
I mean, that was that was good. Well, it lasted there. Couldn't quite take that thing down though. Whatever that was, a turret. Oh. Oh, so what is this? Oh, that's cool. So I've got the grapple now. I can do this for a few shots. Spartan down. This thing doesn't have that many shots, so I have to use them wisely. Oh wait, that's that's our that's someone on our side. Nice. Oh, fuck. Not really sure what hit me there, but something hit me. Well, there goes my grappling hook. If you die, you lose your secondary equipment. Like, you always start with two standard grenades, but you can pick up additional equipment if you can find them. Oh, nice. Nope, fuck you, you're not getting away from me that easy. Yeah, screw you. Yeah, I saw him, like, hookshotting right past me. He did not want to engage. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. When that first melee strike didn't kill him, I thought I was going to die there, but thankfully he missed. Not nice. I'm doing all right, I guess. Three kills, three deaths. Yeah, kind of, kind of a uh, average. I mean, that's better than I was expecting. Like, I played this a couple of days ago, and I was doing absolutely fucking garbage at it. I mean, it's I'm not I'm not doing as bad as I thought I was going to do tonight. But you know, there's always room for improvement. Match is looking like pretty. Pretty level pegging at the moment. They're ahead by like three points. Oh. Got them. Oh, well. I technically didn't get them. Oh. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> my body did a weird like... <laughs> I love the way my body just turns around like that really quickly when I'm aiming in a different direction. Um, e excuse me, Nanny. Um, <laughs> guys, I think my series X froze. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I think the system crashed. I'm just going to give it a minute. I don't know if it's restarting the, the console or what, but I think it is. Like, the home button doesn't do anything. God damn. That's a shame I was enjoying that as well. That was a good match that was going on there. Uh, well, I, I guess while we're waiting to see if this works, why don't we talk about that multiverse thing? Um, 
Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, we'll do it. Hang on, let me just get this set up real quick. Alright, so as soon as I get this on the screen, we're going to check this out. One second. Right, here we go. So here is... I think this is cropped correctly. It might be cropped a little bit weird, but we can check this out. So I don't know if I'm going to get content claimed for this. I guess we'll find out when I upload the VOD later. But here, for those that haven't seen it yet, here is the multiverse trailer. It's like three and a half minutes long, so we're going to have a look at this real quick. Hi, I'm Tony, the game director and co-founder here at Player First Games. We're here today to give you a first look at our new game, Multiverses. About two years ago, we had a question. Can we create a platform fighter that embodies everything we love about the genre, removes the pain points, and brings in some new ideas? It doesn't look too bad, actually. Versus emphasizes teamwork and social play with an ever-expanding, diverse cast of characters that you know and love. I see they got the modern bugs design from the most recent version of the, the Looney Tunes. Across multiple the one with the yellow gloves. And free to play. Free to play? Oh. Everything is better with your friends, and that's a bond we want to emphasize across our modes. Let me let me see that again. I just want to see what the models look like. Friends. And that's yeah, the art direction looks pretty good. Also, I see Jake from Adventure Times here as well. A bond we want to emphasize across our modes, especially in two v two. Every character has unique moves that focus on team play. Whether that's a smoke bomb from Batman. Oh, so I have a voice clip there. Steven shielding his ally for extra defense. You need a shield? Saving someone with a lasso tree. Or using Bugs Bunny's tunnel. The better your teamwork, the better your chances are to win. You're under my protection! We built the game from the ground up for teamwork and co op yeah. to deliver a more unique experience than we think players They're will Superman. enjoy. Superman. And for those of us who like to play solo, don't worry, we support that too. A wolf of House Stark is not afraid. Our roster has some of the most recognizable characters, so bring them to life with as close to one-to-one -one representation as possible through visuals, their worlds, their music, and more is important to us. That's why iconic voice talent powers many of our characters, like Kevin Conroy as Batman. I am Batman. Oh, I see. Fact, we think you'll recognize a lot of them. Uh, before we continue... I like, I don't, can you see my mouse cursor? I don't know if you can, but I like how Batman, it says not Bruce Wayne is the name of the username. That's brilliant. Batman. In fact, we think you'll recognize a lot of them. Bet you didn't know about my dancing powers. Oh, is that John DiMaggio? I have anger issues. Let's see. And Tara Strong? Get ready to eat my sword! We're excited to show yeah, they're definitely, characters from they're definitely getting some, either that or they're very good sound alikes. Too. Wait, dude, I got all kinds of... <laughs> Ah! Shaggy. Ultra Instinct Shaggy, let's go. We'll have a range of customizations available for all of them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm gonna eat so many Scooby Snacks. Multiverses supports cross-play and cross-progression, so you can focus on what's important, who you'll play with, on what platform you want. Friendship power! That also means guilds and more social features. Get ready to challenge other guilds with yours, and see who's really ready for a fight. We'll have leaderboards and other ways to prove who's the best. Remember also, Tom and Jerry's in here as well. That's pretty cool. What about lag affecting your inputs? Us too. Multiverse's goal is best in class online. We're investing a lot into making the most responsive gameplay in netcode, in addition to dedicated servers from day one for the life of the game. Dedicated servers? I hope they've got rollback netcode as well, because it really our needs that. for Multiverses is that anyone, anything, is possible. We'll serve our community with regular updates, including new characters, modes, skins, and events throughout the year for you and your friends. With your help, we want to grow Multiverses to the best game it can be. So whether you want to freeze <laughs> all your foes at once or compete in esports, you'll have a home here. Batman versus Superman. Let's settle once and for all. That's our first look into Multiverses. We've got more iconic characters and features to reveal. Sign up at multiverses.com for a chance to participate in our upcoming playtests. We want to hear your feedback. All right. Victory! Also, that was a pretty cool, like, death animation for bugs there. So yeah, it's going to be free to play, so there's no, like, upfront cost. That's great. Uh, this, se this seems pretty promising, actually. Um, I thought it was going to look like shit, but no, it actually looks good. 
The only thing that I have to point out, though, is that, yeah, the game does look a little bit slow. It kind of looks like... Hang on, let me show you a good moment. It kind of looks like Smash Brothers Brawl in terms of the speed. It looks a little bit sluggish. Hopefully they take, like, you know, the feedback and, you know, speed it up or give you the option to speed it up yourself. I don't know, like, set it to 150% or something and it'll be perfect. But yeah, everything else looks good. It seems like they're putting a lot of work into this. And I'm glad to see there's, like, you know, the voice actors as well. It doesn't seem like they're skimping on that. Like, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl I heard was good, but that game did not have any voice talent whatsoever. So it's great to hear, like... I, I don't know if that was John DiMaggio doing, like, Jake there, but it sounded like him. So I'm, I'm guessing it is actually him then. But yeah, that that is, um... It doesn't look terrible, and again, free to play, so there's no excuse not to check it out when it does come out. I'm going to have to see if I can sign up for this. Uh, my favourite part of the whole thing, though, was just seeing this. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Shaggy. I mean, how could you not love that? At first I thought that was like a lasagna he was throwing, but it's a sandwich. Uh, let's see. Any other good moments? I've got a confession to make, I've never watched Adventure Time, but I've been meaning to. Apparently it's really good. I just I just know John DiMaggio, like the guy that voices Bender from Futurama, plays Jake in that show. I'm not sure who plays Finn. Speaking of Finn, there he is there. So they're like, like I thought Jake and Finn would be like Ice Climbers, where it's like two for one characters, but no, they're like separate playable characters that you can play, so... Each one individually takes up their own slot, which is interesting. But yeah, it looks good. Like, I can't exactly say that I hate this. Like, I mean, I'm down for more Smash clones if they're competent, and it seems like this one actually is pretty competent. Also, somehow the art style kind of works. Like, it actually doesn't feel like... A cohesion nightmare like it actually does kind of like blend in with each other also I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor but who is that next to Shaggy because I, I don't know who that is like I recognize most of these characters I also don't know who this is between like Finn and fuck what was her name Harley Quinn ha Harley Quinn sorry I'm guessing you can see the mouse cursor. I can't see my OBS preview while I'm doing this. Let me check something. Hang on. Oh, you can see the mouse cursor, right. Sorry, I had to move the window so I could see if that was showing. But yeah, this thing looks weird. I'm, I'm guessing that's a Warner Brothers property, and this is also... I don't know who that is, but... I recognise everybody else. Like, you got Shaggy, Steven... This is from Steven Universe. I don't know what her name is. Harley Quinn... Finn, Wonder Woman, Jake, Superman, Batman, not Bruce Wayne, uh, Bugs Bunny. Kind of weird to see Bugs Bunny all the way down there. You'd think he would be at the very top because, you know, he's like the most iconic Warner Brothers character of all time. So, yeah, it's kind of weird to see him. It's like when you play Smash Brothers and Mario's like the very first character at the very top left. But no, Bugs Bunny's all the way down there. Same for Tom and Jerry. But, yeah. Right, I'm going to stop blabbering on now. That, that looks good. I look forward to checking that out. Again, it's free to play, so there's a very good chance that I'll be streaming that. Also, my Xbox has not tried rebooting itself, so I'm just going to do that real quick. One second. Yeah, I had to hold the power button to turn the system off. It was just frozen today. 
Right, so I think I'll do one more big battle. Since we didn't get to finish that one, we'll do one more big battle and then I'll move on to Retro Roulette for a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad to see that they're embracing the meme of, like, Ultra Instinct Shaggy. So good. Okay, I'm kind of surprised they announced uh, Multiverses Out of Nowhere, like, today. Because I thought that was going to be, like, a Game Awards announcement. Because Game Awards comes out in a couple weeks, and usually a bunch of game announcements and, you know, world premieres happens during that. Right, big team battle. Hopefully we get another Slayer match because I would like to just kill people for like 15 minutes. Speaking of Xbox, we should chill and play Kingdom 2 Crown sometime. What game is that? I've never heard of that one. Oh, by the way, um... I wasn't really going to bring this up, but since we're on the topic of, like, competent Smash Brothers clones, I found a really good deal for Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl on Steam, and I, I decided to buy I picked it up. I'm planning to stream it at least once at some point, I'm not sure when yet, just when I feel the time is right to check it out. I bought it on Steam mainly because it's got, like, mod support so you can, like, Say, for example, like, put voice clips for, of characters from, like, TV shows in there as a mod. So, potential for, like, good stuff to see on the PC version of the game. That's why I didn't buy it on Switch, because it's like, yeah, th there's some stuff that mods could make the game better. I'm hoping when Multiverses comes out that also has mod support, because you could go a long way with mods in games like those. It's free on Xbox Gold right now. I'll check that out at some point then, maybe. I don't know if I'll check it on stream, but... Stockpile. If it's on Games With Gold, I'll add it to my account. I usually add stuff from Games With Gold on my account. <clears throat> Let me move the chair closer. There we go. So wait, what is this? Stockpile? Score three times to win? Did we? Yeah, we did this game mode already. That's fine, we'll just play it again. I like that somebody's, like, uh, clan tag is just poop. Very top there. A gift from the heavens is inbound. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Uh, this looks nice. Is this a rocket launcher? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Someone tried to snipe me there, I think. <laughs> oh! Yeah, take my fucking rocket launcher then. You piece of shit. Bastards! Power 
seeds are ready to secure. Wales on route. Let's get that put away. Right, let's see if I can actually play the objective this time. Eyes up. Ordnance dropping from orbit. Gonna go this way. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Oh. I like the bleepy bloops that happens when you put the seed in. Yeah, I got this. I thought he was going to say Toys R Us. I was like, wait, what? This game's a product placement for Toys R Us now? What? <laughs> Right, well I actually played the objective for once. Cause usually in that experience when I play the objective I just fucking die. And I don't contribute. Power seeds are ready to secure. Stop shooting, please. Oh you fuck. Did I just there's a vehicle called a Rocket Hog. Good name. Arakan, squeeze my hog. I don't think anybody here will get that reference. Our team has loaded a power seat. Your team has reached half power. Oh. Alright. Damn it. I was hoping that grenade would have finished them off. Still a power seed line there. I'll see if I can grab that. Alright, we won. Well, oh no, we haven't won yet. It's been best of five. I may do one more match after this. We'll see. Three more left. So this is what it's like to play the objective, I guess, for this game modes. Your team has reached half power. Nope. Nope. Your team needs one more power seed. Can I throw this? Oh, you can. Okay, we won anyway. <laughs> I mean, you could you could like throw it a little distance and you can run toward it. That's a little bit of a way to m get it, like move it faster, I guess. I didn't realize you could toss it. I think I might do one more big battle. See if I can get like just standard like Slayer modes. I think that's what they call team deathmatch. Three one three one. What do I need to do? Win, capture the flag, match in PvP, spread the love, kill enemy Spartans with a battle rifle. Haven't... haven't I been doing that though? Maybe not in that match, I guess. Back smack, kill enemy Spartans behind with a... Uh, with a something. I don't, I don't know why. Oh, here we go. With a melee attack. 
So I have to do melee from behind them. Mm. Upgrade the premium battle pass to unlock an extra challenge slot. Nope. Sorry, I thought it was matching already. What kind of game is Kingdom Two Crowns? In fact, I'm gonna have to look that up. Hang on. See what we got here. Uh, are you sure it's in Games with Gold? Because I don't see it here. Are you talking about like the free games that you claim every month on Game Game Pass at uh, Xbox Golds, or because I don't see it listed there? Oh wait a minute, I do. Sorry. See here, like, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Let me show you what I was looking at. One sec. Well, this has taken five years to load. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like, for a second there, I thought it wasn't there because I was looking at the box art, which... OBS, can you please? I was looking at the box art and not the title below it, so I thought the game was called Deadlands. Like, why... Is that the wrong box art? But yeah, it says uh, Kingdom 2 Crowns at the bottom, so... I'll claim that later. Just gonna hide that. And get rid of that, rather. Eliminate the targets. Kingdom 2 Crowns is a side-scrolling micro-strategy game with a minimalist feel wrapped around in a beautiful modern pixel art aesthetic. Play the role of a monarch atop their steed in the royal... the the, the recruit royal... the wards. Whatever. I'll, I'll read it later. Don't have time now. Right, team deathmatch. So this will probably be the last match I do before we do some retro roulette for a couple hours. I hope you guys will enjoy retro roulette because it has been almost a year since I've done that. I should do that more regularly again, but it has been a while. It's been a hot minute. Oh yeah, you've got a sidearm as well. I forgot about that. I need to remember if I run out of bullets... And I have to reload. Instead, I could just switch to my sidearm and use that to finish someone off. Eh, I'm going to take the grappling hook instead. So I can do shit like this. There we go. I was hoping I could grapple onto the tree. I don't know if that actually works. Doesn't seem like it. Damn it. Deadlands is a recent addition to it. Oh, I see. So the box art reflects that. There we go. Back smack achieved. Oh, that's the wrong button. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, that multiverses game, it looks promising. I mean, I said that about Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, but apparently that game is pretty good. It's just lacking in content. But here's the difference between that and multiverses. Like, multiverses is free to play, and they're going to be adding content over time. I don't know if Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl is going to have anything going on with it, and that game is like, what, $50? $40? It's not cheap. Damn it. Forgot to switch to my sidearm there. He's already dead. Just many, like a bunch of like just corpses lying there, and there's just more grenades incoming, like just blowing the dead corpses up. Oh yes, I've been looking through the game, the the game awards nominations, and for some reason, Cyberpunk has not one but two nominations this year. Which honestly surprises me. I don't think that game is going to get nominated for anything, and yet it did. Wait. I'm just going to take that back, actually. What was that? Pulse Carbine? Sure. <laughs> I, I, like I, my brain keeps thinking he's going to say Toys R Us. Fuck. Yeah, that that was that was not good. Yeah, bro, was in this one. So what else is new? I'll see if I can get the rest of my kills with this weapon, because I think I still need to do that. Fuck! No! I, I got rid of a shield and I couldn't fucking land a hit afterward. Oh, there he goes. Oh no, I didn't get. Someone else got that kill. Oh fuck, I'm dead. But I killed someone with my second grenades. Oh my fucking god, whoops. Jumped right into that by accident. When I when my Xbox crashed, keep in mind I'm using an Xbox Series X. It's not like a Series S or like Xbox One. It's like the best possible Xbox that one can get. Like when when my game crashed, I'm not sure if it was just me that it crashed or if it crashed everybody on that server. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell to be honest. Maybe it only just happened to me. There we go. Fantastic work, Spartan. I think I now have enough kills to finish that other objective, so I might get a good bit of XP after this. Oh! I love it when I'm looking at someone else and then there's like an enemy behind me, and by the time I realise that, there's not going to be enough time to turn around and retaliate. I'm already dead. I'm already dead at that point.
Thought I saw someone down here. Yeah, gotta love the ragdolling of the models when they're dead. That's always been a thing in Halo, I think. Ground vehicle on route. Reporting down. Wait, what's this? Shit! Wonder Breath of the Wild 2 is going to have ragdolling. I mean, the first game kind of had ragdolling, so I couldn't see why not. Oh yeah, I had like another weird dream, like the night before uh, tonight. I mean, when I had the proper sleep and not that four hour nap, I had a weird dream where I got early access to Breath of the Wild 2. And in the dream, I was playing it with a friend because there's co-op in, in, the, in this version that I was playing in my dream where I was playing as Link and my friend was playing as Zelda and we were doing like puzzles cooperatively. It was pretty cool. I don't I don't think the full game's going to be like that, but wouldn't that be a cool thing to have to have someone play alongside you as Zelda? Make it happen, Nintendo. Speaking of Zelda and the Game Awards, apparently there might be a 35th anniversary announcement at the Game Awards. So maybe Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD come into Switch? That would be good. I'd like to see them. Even though this would be my third time buying each game, I wouldn't mind. Because those games are genuinely fantastic. And really, they should have been on the Switch a while ago. Yeah, we're not going to win this match. See if I can get a few more kills before it finishes. Got about a minute left to do it. I'm assuming it takes a minute for them to get 9 more kills. 8 more kills. 7 more kills. Where are you? There you are. Oh! <laughs> nice ragdolling there. I thought that guy was teabagging, maybe he was just taking cover. Or he was doing both. After this match, I'm going to show you guys the the Simpsons joke. Or, I can't, sh I can't show you the clip, but I could probably find a gif of it. Like, there has to be a gif out there that exists that makes a reference to, like, Halo teabagging. It's like Homer's in, like, a, a dorm or something playing Halo. Right, well, I got one more kill. But yeah, that was a losing fight. Right, I'm gonna see if I can find that now. Hang on a second. Simpsons Halo GIF, does this give me what I'm looking for? Oh, so I completed two challenges there. I don't know which ones I completed, I looked away there for a second. But I'm assuming the back one, the one where I hit someone in the back with the melee kill and... The five kills with the, the battle rifle. So that's, that's alright, I guess. Right, let me see if I can find this image real quick before we move on to Retro Roulette for a little bit. So, I can't seem to find this, actually. Okay, I found a, a picture of it, but... It's not... Like, I was hoping for a gif. In fact, you know what? Right, I found two pictures. This will do. Hang on. 
Let me just save these real quick and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, just seeing these images. Like, I know the word cringe gets thrown around a lot these days, but it's kind of cringe seeing The Simpsons doing this, but... Homer's, like, playing what, what is clearly meant to be Halo, and he's, like, teabagging someone that he just killed. And then he talks to Marge for a bit, and then he's, like, at the end of the conversation, he's like, oh, do you want to try teabagging this dead person? And she picks up the controller and, like, teabags the person. Let me get the other... Where's the other picture at? Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this this does not... So, this just blows my mind on so many levels. Not in the best... Not in the good way, mind you. It, it's just fucking weird. It's, like, cringe. Keep in mind, this is not a very recent Simpsons episode. This was, like... Over 10 years ago, this episode came out, I believe. But yeah, no, this is real. This exists. Not over 10 years ago, sorry. It was, like, over 5 years ago. <laughs> it's so fucking... Oh, so nice D-pads. Yeah, can't wait to play platformers on that D-pad right there. Yeah, how do I move left? Oh, just press up diagonal. That works. Right, okay, I'm done with this for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wasn't expecting to play two hours of this tonight, but we're coming up about two hours. So yeah, um, it's good. Like, I, I suck at it, I'm, I'm terrible at these kind of games, but it's good, it plays well. I like it. I might check it out again when the full version comes out, uh, when it leaves beta on December 8th or December 9th. I always forget which day it is, but it's like... The second week of December, it's coming out, and then maybe I'll stream the single-player campaign, because apparently that's going to be good, maybe. We'll, we'll see on that. 